Hello everyone. Welcome to Rapid Math Trick. Today we would learn dates and calendars. In this video, we are going to solve problems on dates and calendars. Before solving the problems, we should understand the basic concepts of calendars. One week has 7 days. Then, one year has 52 week plus one odd day. In case of leap year, we have 52 weeks plus two odd days. In ordinary year, we have 28 days. In a month of February, but in case of leap year, we have one extra day. That's why we have 29 days. In month of February. Now you know the basic concept involved in a calendar problem. Next, we are going to learn about various tricks which are involved in solving calendar problem. So these are the basic tricks which you should know before moving ahead. As we can see, we have allotted keys to every month, and to remember the same. We have prepared a small stanza, which is, it's a square of twelve, and square of five, and square of six, and one four six. Next, the final answer is obtained in the form of a remainder. Then, on the basis of remainder, we will able to predict the day of week. Now, let's see few problems. Problem one: What was the day on first Jan nineteen forty one? Let's start. Step one: First, we have to take last two digit of the year, which is forty one. Step two: Now we divide forty one by four and take the quotient ten as the answer. Step three. Now we have to write the key associate with the month January, that is one. Step four. Now we will take the date, which is one. Step five. Now we will add all the digits, so we get fifty-three. Step six. Now we divide fifty-three by seven. And we get quotient equal to seven, and remainder equals to four. Next, we have to deal with remainder only, so we will write four as the answer. Now, from the day key, it can be seen that remainder four corresponds to Wednesday. Hence, first January was a Wednesday. Problem two. What was the day on 26 June 1983? Let's start. Step one. First, we have to take last two digit of the year, which is 83. Step two. Now we divide 83 by four and take the quotient 20 as the answer. Step three. Now we have to write. The key associate with the month June, that is five. Step four. Now we will take the date, which is twenty-six. Step five. Now we will add all the digits, so we get one hundred thirty-four as the answer. Step six. Now we divide one hundred thirty-four by seven. And we get quotient equals to 19, and remainder equals to 1. Next, we have to deal with remainder only, so we will write 1 as the answer. Now, from the day key, it can be seen that remainder 1 corresponds to Sunday. Hence, 26 June 1983 was a Sunday. Problem three. What was the day on 15 August 
Let's start. Step 1. First we have to take last two digit of the year which is 47. Step 2. Now we divide 47 by 4 and take the quotient 11 as the answer. Step 3. Now we have to write the key associate with the month August that is 3. Step 4. Now we will take the date which is 15. Step 5. Now we will add all the digits. So we get 76 as the answer. Step 6. Now we divide 76 by 7. And we get quotient equals to 10. And remainder equals to 6. Next. We have to deal with remainder only. So we will write 6 as the answer. Now, from the day key it can be seen that remainder 6 corresponds to Friday. Hence 15 August 1947 was a Friday. Now, I will give you some question for practice. First, Find the day on 1st July 1944. Second, find the day on 10th February 1948. For any queries, please comment below and we would reply to your queries. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do like, share. And subscribe to Rapid Maths Tricks for more knowledgeable videos. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. In this video, we completed dates and calendars. And in next video we will cover square root of imperfect square.